Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Let's do today's, it's kind of a midday recap. We're going into lunch here. Um, let's talk about what's going on. We're getting a little bit of consolidation here in the stock index futures. Not quite getting that sell-off that we had uh, yesterday, but yesterday's sell-off also came later in the day. So as of right now, we're still read testing. We're just kind of bouncing around the yesterday's lows on all the stock index futures, which we're going to go over in a second. But we do have some support here. I just I just very simply drew some fibs, the most recent low to high here on these um, on these stock indexes. Actually, this one here I need to adjust a little bit. But nonetheless, um, we just simply have been drawing some fibs here. I got some areas of some potential support down in here just based on the Fibonacci's. As you see, the Russell's starting to get into this zone that we have here, that 38 to 50 percent fullback. So we're getting into that zone. In order for me to get aggressively long here in the stock index futures, I want to see one of these days trade above the previous day's high. So coming into tomorrow, I would like to see if we're going to continue this uptrend. I would like to see us get through the previous day's highs or today's highs in order to be completely confident to the upside. Other than that, I'm still looking at this market to trickle to the downside um, here with the Russell. Um, let's go through the stock index futures. A lot of them are going to be the exact same. Same concept here, but here you see we got a little bit further to pull back. With this Fibonacci, we're still just kind of isolating and chopping sideways around this previous swing high. If we start to get a drop here, we do have a nice area around these 16 800s uh, for potential support. And the same rules apply. If I'm going to see this thing continue to the uptrend, I'm going to make sure we get through the previous day's highs before I get aggressive to the long side here. Same way with the Dow, same way with the Russell, and so on and so forth. Here with the NASDAQ, see, it's been the... NASDAQ's been the stronger of the four for quite a while now. It's getting some bigger pushes, but I have went ahead and put in the same pullback here, same support area that actually comes right at this previous swing high that we just had. So if we get a resumption to the downside and continue to the downside, I will look for it to test a little bit lower. But like I said, again, I'm going to keep repeating myself. I'm watching them previous day's highs. So wherever today's high is, Going into tomorrow, if tomorrow pushes above today's highs, I will continue to get long here on the stock index futures. And then finally here with the S&P, the exact same analogy for this that I had the other four. I just simply showing you the pullback here with that instrument. And um, same thing applies. Watch them previous day's highs before we get aggressively long. So what I mean by that is in all these pullbacks that you see, you see we mark up them previous day's highs until we break through it. I don't get aggressive to the long side until we're able to break through them previous day's highs, which you see happen right here and then off to the races again in a resumption of the overall uptrend. So just something to pay attention to. Um, and then finally, let's take a look at crude. Crude has been a nice, nice position here. We've been trading it fairly actively in the live trading room. We have some room here still for the crude to move down here a little bit lower. What the crude's been doing is pushing, chopping, pushing, chopping, pushing, chopping, and so on and so forth. We're going to have some support down here that we're going to be dealing with between anywhere from the 91 down to the 89s. There's kind of a um, what do you want to call it? kind of a support down in here so um, we are getting close to it but we are still con seeing the crude continue we're seeing the crude doing these fast drops kind of chop fast drop chop fast drop so that's showing me there's still a lot of momentum to the downside whenever them stop and we start getting this type of stuff going on then I know that maybe the bottom has found and we could look for possible, uh, you know, maybe some reversal opportunities and we're looking for some upside opportunities here in crude. But until that happens, I'm going to continue to trade the crude short down in between the 91s to 89s. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoy these videos. Um, yesterday we put out a really good video on a trading strategy. Um, that we've been using in the live trading room. So I hope that helped you guys out. I did get feedback on that. So thank you. You guys know who you are. Other than that, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good afternoon.